Good morning, everyone. Um, so I know that Mrs. Hall has introduced our new topic. We are now doing Around the World in 80 Days. So exciting. And this week, we are spending all of our time still in the UK during lockdown, but we are in London. So what I thought I would do is introduce a new topic into maths. Because we're in London, and because we're in England, I thought we'd concentrate on money. So we are gonna have a different money lesson every week, but today we are gonna just concentrate on sorting money, okay? Just looking at what uh, the different coins look like and what they're called, and then your task would be simply to sort them into their correct groups. Now, I know there are a lot more coins than what we're gonna to introduce today, but because we only up to up to 10, and perhaps up to 20, I'm only going to introduce the first four coins that we have in England, so up to 10 pence, okay? So I'm quite literally going to tell you the coin, what it's called, and then I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to show you what that coin looks like because all we're doing today is we are naming and recognising the coins so that you can sort them, okay? And I know that at the end of this, there's going to be a link to a game where you can sort the coins uh, into their correct groups. Our first coin is called one pence or a penny okay so one pence okay one penny okay and i'm going to stick that on there and our one pence looks like this okay this one here i don't know if it's gonna there we go how's it gonna focus there we go okay one pence okay and on the penny it does actually have a tiny little number one okay so our one pence is a very small brown coin okay so that's our first one so I've got a picture here I had to color it in myself I'm so sorry okay it's a tiny little coin it's brown and it has a number one on it okay so I'm gonna match that up there okay our second coin is two pence okay two and it is also a brown coin. Okay, it's a little bit bigger this time, okay? And it looks like this, okay? And it has a tiny little two on it, okay? So one pence has a little one on it and two pence has a little two, okay? So I'm gonna show you two pence. Ugh. They don't all stick together. Two pence, okay, one pence is the little one two pence is a bigger brown one okay so i'm gonna stick my drawing on that okay the third coin we're going to introduce is three pence no it's not actually okay there's no such thing as three pence and there's no such thing as four pence in terms of an actual coin you can say a three pence because you can make it up with different coins but the next actual coin that we have in our uh, country is something called a five pence, okay? And it looks like this. It's a little silver coin, okay? Tiny little silver coin. And it's called a five pence. So I'm gonna stick that on there. And I've got my picture here. It's obviously not that big, but it's the little silver one, okay? And that is called a five pence coin, okay? Same in our country, we don't have a six pence coin, we don't have a seven, eight or nine pence coin. The next coin up is something called a ten pence coin. So we have one, two, five, and we have a ten pence coin, which looks like this, okay? And it has a little ten on it. I don't know if you can see, a nice little ten on our ten pence coin, okay? So I'm going to stick that on there, ten pence. And our coin, it's a silver coin, okay? So, they're the coins I'm going to introduce you at the moment and I'm just going to show you on my work mat how we would uh, do a sorting activity. The other coin I'll introduce but I'll not stick on the wall that you might want to use at home is our 20 pence. So we go 1, 2, 5, 10 and then we jump up to a 20 pence coin which looks like this. It's the one that's got the funny edges but it's smaller than a 50 pence coin which looks a little bit similar okay so we have our one pence oops upside down one pence which has got a one we have our two pence coin which is a big silver one uh, not silver uh brown or copper okay then we have our five pence coin which is a very small silver one 
And then we have our 10 pence coin, which is a larger silver one. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an activity you might like to do for our first day where we're just introducing the coins and we're just getting used to what they are, what they look like and what they're called. Okay, so this is what you could do at home. Okay, it is up to you how you choose to do this, but there's two ways you could do it. You could either have pictures uh, on the floor or on the table or an example coin and basically get your children to sort coins into their correct groups okay so they get used to knowing what they look like and where they need to go so for example i put pictures down so if i had my coins i would start sorting them into their different groups just so that children get used to knowing what the coins look like okay i have a lot of 5ps okay so there we go that's your sorting activity or you could have it so that they're sorting it into the numbered um, versions of the coins. What I mean by that is, if you give it a second, switching out the 2p for the actual number 2. Or, and let's move out the 5 since I've got a lot of those, having your numbers on the floor or on the table. Okay, so for example, I would then start going, okay, here's your coins, sort them out. You could even have it so that there's some are pictures and some are numbers. And then the children would sort them into their different coin groups. Okay, so that is the first task this week. Literally getting used to what the coins look like, what they are called and can they sort them. There is also an online game which I will put uh, into the update that you can use on the computer if you do not have access to um, this kind of resources. But like I say... For numbers you could just write them on a piece of paper they don't have to look smart and in terms of pictures of the money you could just have an example coin so instead of having the number one there you could just have an actual penny there instead and go okay all the pennies go there all the 20 pences go there and so on and so forth probably a great way to get your coin started as well for when we can take them to the bank when we're finally out of lockdown as well I'm sure you've all got uh, penny jars that you would like sorted, so this is a great way to do that.